Welcome to another video from explainingthefuture.com. 2014 has been a fantastic year for 3D printing, and so I thought it was time to bring you my annual Top 10 Personal 3D Printers of the past 12 months. At 10, we have the Robox from CEL, the first of seven new entrants in this year's list. The Robox is a very stylish, beautifully engineered 3D printer and quietly produces great prints. I really like the design of this printer and think that we'll see great things from Robox in the future. At 9, we have the Be The First from Be Very Creative, the first survivor from last year's list. Like the Robox, this is an easily portable piece of hardware that looks great as a home appliance in addition to producing good prints. At 8 comes the Upplus 2 from Tier Time, along with its Affinia H480 clone sold in the United States. While hardly the best looking hardware on the market, these solid, compact and reliable printers do perform very well indeed and offer great value for money. I'm reliably informed that an upgraded Upplus 3 will launch in 2015. At 7, and also from Tier Time, is the Up Box. This is a faster, fully enclosed printer and includes a HEPA filter to prevent fumes from escaping its build space. The op box is therefore a good choice if you want to do a lot of 3D printing in a domestic or educational setting. Moving to 6 and serving the needs of high-end prosumers, we have the Cube Pro from 3D Systems. This replaces the Cube X featured in last year's list and is available in standard, duo and trio models that can print with one, two or three filaments respectively. Print quality from the Cube Pro is excellent, with build materials including nylon as well as ABS and PLA. At 5, we have the Form 1 Plus from Form Labs, the only stereolithographic printer in this year's list. This is an upgrade to the Form 1 that featured in last year's list, and can deliver very high resolution resin prints on the desktop. The only downside is material cost and the need to clean objects thoroughly after printout. At 4, I've got the MakerBot Replicator 5th generation. While limited to printing in PLA, this has a fairly large build volume, a 3 inch colour screen, and a print monitoring camera. It also features USB, Wi Fi, and Ethernet connectivity and is a great choice for serious makers. At 3 is the DaVinci 2.0 Duo from XYZ Printing. At $649, this earns its ranking for bringing out of the box two colour 3D printing to the mass market at a very competitive price. The DaVinci 2.0 Duo is a capable budget printer and well suited for 3D printing beginners. Rising to 2, we have another very good value printer in the form of the PrinterBot Simple Metal. This is a very solidly engineered metal incarnation of previous PrinterBots and produces some of the best printouts of any hardware on this list. For enthusiasts, there are also great possibilities to upgrade and tinker. Given its $599 price tag, the PrinterBot Simple Metal therefore has to be my recommendation for all technically competent makers seeking a budget 3D printer. Finally at 1, we have the Ultimaker 2. This excellent 3D printer always delivers fantastic print quality from a wide range of materials. Operation is standalone from an SD card, and I've never met an unhappy Ultimaker 2 user or retailer. The Ultimaker 2 is therefore my recommendation for serious makers looking to reliably produce really good 3D prints. Well there you have it, my top 10 personal 3D printers of 2014. There were of course many great models that didn't quite make the list, including the Zmorph 2, the Tinkerine Ditto Pro and the Cube 3 from 3D Systems. Indeed, the best thing about compiling this year's list was the sheer range of new models to choose from, with seven of my top 10 personal 3D printers this year having been launched in 2014. It's therefore really interesting to ponder where personal 3D printing will be by the end of 2015. But now that's it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.